Today you've joined hundreds of established and emerging writers who are discovering ways to reach their writing goals and have fun. By being more curious, creative, and productive, you're listening to Ann Croker, Writing Coach. This is episode number 30, Action Creates Clarity. My friend John is an entrepreneur, and he said to me years ago, action creates clarity. I've passed this nugget along to so many people because I find people who are just sitting on an idea, they're worried they're going to get something wrong, they're afraid to take action, but action is the very thing they need to take because action creates clarity. When you take action, that's when you find the information that you need to gather or the equipment that you're missing. You might feel like you're stumbling or making mistakes, but what you're doing is gathering information so you can adapt, fill in the gaps, improve, build, and grow. I found the phrase actually originated not with John, but with Peter Sheehan in a book called Flip. Sheehan talks about micro-planning and over-planning. How researching incessantly and planning and strategizing to the place where we're procrastinating ends up with us practically paralyzed. He says, you can't plan your way to greatness. There is nothing more valuable for your business and for your life and career than to do away with your commitment to micro-planning everything and to let loose with some bold and courageous action. I agree. It's time to do something, to write something, to take action and get clarity. Start trying to express your thoughts, and as you write, your ideas and stories will solidify, or or maybe they'll get muddier, but you're going to know what to do next. You'll know what you're missing. You'll see what you need to straighten up. You'll see the characters that need tweaking, the research you need to do, the questions you need to ask, the people you need to talk to. Those of us stuck in that planning mode, we do the planning for a lot of reasons, and it's good, actually, to do some initial planning, but there's a point at which, and it's probably sooner than we think, There's a point at which you need to take the action, you need to start writing the story, doing the outline, making the interview. Some of us simply love research and we love digging in a little deeper and a little deeper and we go off in rabbit trails. But if our goal is to use that research for a writing project or to start something new in our writing life, like pitching a column to a magazine or sending an essay to a literary journal, we eventually have to stop the work of the research and actually take some action and get started. Consider some reasons that people avoid taking action. Do we hesitate because we need to control the situation? And once we take action, we kind of lose control? Or do we avoid taking action because we know this story currently in our head because we haven't taken action will never be as amazing as the story we start tapping out on the keyboard when we do take action? Do we hesitate because we're searching for the perfect approach, the perfect blog design, the perfect opener for the book, or the perfect app for our to-do list? Do we fear the failure that will inevitably come when we take action? We need to repackage or reframe this idea of failure and let go of a false idea that perfection is even possible. Taking action may result in something that looks like failure, that looks less than perfect, and it will be. In fact, that's the point. We need to take action to find out what isn't working as well in order to improve. So if you want quality, not perfection, but quality, take action. The clarity you get, which is the information that that the action supplies you with, will help you to kind of tweak and pivot and flip and whatever else you need to do to adapt and change and evolve and improve. Peter Sheehan also says, whatever fear you're feeling, trust me, everyone else is freaking out about the same things. The ones who will come out on top will be those who act in spite of their fear. By taking action, we begin to get the clarity we need for a project but also for ourselves. We start to understand who we are as people, as writers. We overcome fears. We begin to see successes. We result in these projects that will outlast us. But we'll never do that if we don't take action in the first place. If you haven't started something you want to start, it's time to take action and gain clarity. Or if you're stuck in the middle of a novel and you don't know what to do next, sit down at the keyboard and start typing again. Create a new character. Create a new twist. Add a new topic. Do what you need to to create some action because with the action will come more clarity. It's time for us to take bold and courageous action so we can have clarity on our projects but also on ourselves. We can become the writers that we were meant to be writing the works that we were meant to write. As you take action this week, I am cheering you on as a writing coach in your ear. I'd also love to be a writing coach in your inbox, so feel free to pop over to ancroker.com and subscribe to updates. 
everywhere we may meet, in your inbox, here on this podcast, on Facebook or Twitter, or even in person. I'm always looking for ideas to share with you that will help you achieve your writing goals and have fun by being more curious, creative, and productive. Thank you for listening.